The uh, exhibition is called the Black Money, and is based on the Black Money scam. And in order to uh, prevent theft or custom detection, those money would die black. So those people, when they receive money, it arrived with a big trunk lock of uh, black paper, which is supposed to be money being dyed black. And when they receive this money, then they have to find this chemical solution to uh, reverse the dye of the artist. He makes the money with uh, metro newspaper. Every morning he goes to uh, metro's, uh, the uh, tube station and collects the newspaper, then go home and uh, cut them into the life size, the same size as a $100 bill. And then uh, he has to buy the money strap from Federal Reserve. And because this is for artist project, he has to write a declaration to Federal Reserve saying that, you know, I'm not a scammer, this is totally an artistic project, I can show you the installation as a proof. So the strap is, is for real. So after he made all this money, then he has to go up to the roof and spray it black, then uh, put it all together, and uh, then he made all these cards, which looks like uh, what we call the, the calling cards you see in the London the public payphone and for prostitutes mainly, and uh, he made it in the same shape, it looked like this kind of card, and people, people like offering their service for claiming money. The reason why I want to do this exhibition at a very specific location is because the, uh, the gallery is situated very, very close to uh, the High Court of Justice. And the, when the artist told me the concept of this show, even before he started making the work, I thought this is fantastic to place this uh, scam, scammer's um, work inside a, a gallery which is a stone's throw from the Royal Court of Justice. Uh, so we are uh, um, discuss about uh, how big the installation is going to be. Then uh, we started from there, and that was the beginning of this year.